Hey guys, KP Jacks here. Today is May 12th, 2016, and uh, I'm doing a follow-up video on my solar water heater setup. I've had it for just over six months, and uh, so far it's it's been great. Uh, we did our taxes, and um, we got about a 30% rebate back in our taxes, so the overall cost minus the rebate. Uh, the total cost for the project uh, right now is about $14,000 uh, because you get a 30% rebate back from the government for uh, going green or going solar or something like that. And, and you can't hear it, but right now it, the solar pump is running and I'll show you that here. I'll lift this up for a second. See those two red lights? When the red light on the right is lit up, that means the pump is running and you can't even hear the pump. And you might ask, well, where's the pump? Maybe I can't hear it because it's not even anywhere near me. It's right here. This right here is the pump. You barely hear a little hum out of it as it runs and pushes the water up to the, uh, the roof, which is pretty awesome because it's only 85 degrees here in, you know, where I live today, and um, which means, you know, it's way hotter on the roof. So the thermostat on my tank is set to about 125. Um, and then the box over there has a built-in thermostat in it, uh, which basically registers the water temperature up on the roof in the tank, uh, in the collector, uh, that if it's more than eight degrees hotter up there, it pushes water from the tank up through the roof to the collector up there to heat the water. So my element down here, using my utility bill and using my utilities here, doesn't have to work right now because water is being superheated by the sun. And um, I have a little temperature gauge. I can't get up on my roof. I, I misplaced my ladder to do that. But, um, you know, I shined it against the hood of my truck recently, um, you know, five minutes ago. And it said the hood of my truck was 150 degrees just from the sun beating down on it. So that kind of means that more than likely the element up there, it's at least 100 and 50 degrees on it when it really only needs to be about 130 degrees to start pushing water up to it. But I wanted to talk a little bit about my bills and um, why we decided to go with a greener solution. Uh, I wanted to do solar panels, however, every company I talked to uh, quoted me like fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. I mean, that's, it's, it's unreasonable. You know, nobody wanted to quote me one panel. You know, give me one panel, let me pay that off, I'll put up another panel, let me pay that off, I'll put up a third panel and grow my system into what I need. They all wanted me to finance sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 worth of equipment. And the last thing I need is another bill. We have just a couple bills left. We're really trying to get out of debt because uh, being debt free is really the way it is. You know, it's, it's where it is. And we have some friends who have just done it and it's amazing the the pressure relief that there is when you don't owe anybody money. Now, I'm not counting a mortgage, you know, I'm not counting your utilities, because um, a mortgage is kind of an investment, but, you know, it would be nice to have two vehicles paid off. And, you know, we did once, a long time ago, we did. And uh, then we had kids and had to get different vehicles and that kind of thing. So, but I wanted to bring up um, my bills, and I went back, actually, um, two years in my utility bills. Uh, my utility company allows you to view the last two years or 18 months or something of your of your bill. And so what we did is I looked it up and I, I just I printed it out. So I got the water heater um, and solar elements and attic stuff and vent fans. I got it all back in October of last year. So it's been about seven months. And, um, you know, I went back to February of 2014. And I used 1,776 kilowatt hours of electricity, and that was $227 just for electricity. Um, and th that's what you're going to hear. All of this is just electricity. I've broken out the water and the sewage because our utility bill shows that. And uh, we use JEA here in Florida where we are, so that's just how they are. Um, in February of 2015, you know, we had two more kids in 2014, uh, we were using 2,342 kilowatt hours. So that was, you know, 600 more kilowatt hours than we had used the previous year. And we were up at $298, so almost $300 just for electricity. So 
fast forward a little bit from February of 2014 to October of 2014. Um, sorry, October. Okay, so in October 2014, we were using 1,776. So in October 2014, we were using 1,776 kilowatt hours, about $227 for electricity. Fast forward a year, um, after having kids, we are more kids, we were using in the same month, just the next year, 2,342 kilowatt hours. And that was at $300 a month just for electricity. So we added about 600 kilowatt hours um, by adding two more people, I guess. Um, so uh, in March, we used, uh, March of 2015, we used 1,966 at 251 and then April was 1827 at 227 dollars fast forward to October 2015 is which is when we got the element we were using um, well in September of 2015 we were using 1858 kilowatt hours and that was at 237 dollars we put this unit in early October and you can go back to our previous videos we went from 1,800 kilowatt hours down to 1,300 kilowatt hours. We cut 500 kilowatt hours our first month. We went from $237 in September down to $163 in October. November rolled around. We went from 1,300 kilowatt hours down to 1,100 kilowatt hours, down from 163 a month to 153. December came around and Florida, you know, it's always hot here. We didn't have any crazy cold weather. I mean, it wasn't as hot as it could have been, but we went from 1,178 kilowatt hours in November down to 927 in December. We went from $153 a month to $120 a month. And that's all thanks to the radiant barrier that's in the attic. That's thanks to the attic fan. That's thanks to the water heater. So roll around to the new year, January. So we used uh, as opposed to last year, um, right before we had our twins, we used 1,959 kilowatt hours, $250. This year, same time, we used 1,553 kilowatt hours and a 199 bill. So we went from 1959 to 1553, we cut almost 400 kilowatt hours and we cut out about $40 from our bill. And then you get to February, of this year compared to last year. Last year, like I said before, it was 2,342 kilowatt hours at almost $300 a month, 298 bucks. This February, $142. So we cut quite a bit. Um, March last year, we were at $251 a month. This year, we were at $131 a month. It's a $120 difference, all by just sticking this thing on my roof. And then this past month, because uh, I haven't gotten this month's bill, so April's a bill. April of 2015, we were using 1,827 kilowatt hours, $227 a month. This year, same month, 1,313 kilowatt hours at $160 a month. So that was a about a $60 difference, give or take, you know, whatever. But it's, it's well worth the investment. And, um, you know, it's no worse than a car payment. The overall cost, once we got the rebate back, and you just do your taxes, and they, they ask, you know, did you do anything? And you just say yes. You check the box, fill in what you paid for the system, and we got 30% back. So this system overall was just around $14,000. Basically, it averages to what it's saving me right now is what I pay to pay off that um, loan through the the home wise company that we got it through so the 150 bucks i'm saving i just send to them and when i pay this off guess what it's all profit and it should be paid off anywhere between three to five years depending on how we decide to to move forward so once i get past that it's all profit my my bill won't go any higher it, it may go a little bit higher simply because our utility company will absolutely raise their rate they do it every year so it's going to go up in that general but my neighbors who have a little bit bigger house than me they already pay way more than i do in utility bills they pay like three or four hundred dollars i'm paying 150 dollars, and all i did was put this thing on the roof you can tell 
that it's not much. It's about a 10, 10, now it's probably about a four foot by eight foot panel. And all it does is it just sits there all day long, collects heat from the sun. Uh, mine is uh, not as uh, efficient as it could be. If I really wanted to, it would be on the other side of my roof. However, you can see in the, uh, the top part of the uh, picture there is um, we have a massive oak tree and some pine trees over there that block some of the sun. So when I do get those cut down, we'll be able to put solar panels on that side of the roof and they'll be much more efficient. But that's what $14,000 gets you. Get you a giant panel, a giant solar collector basically, a giant heat collector because it's not solar, it just uses the, the radiant heat from the sun. The, the sun is not powering it. Um, the, the water tank, you know, the water heater that they replaced, it actually only has one element in it, so they removed one and it's more efficient this way. The pump, the solar attic fans, which you can't see right now because they're in front of that thing. Uh, but there's two of them in my attic, and then the solar radiant barrier, all for about $14,000. And um, once again, you know, it's once it's paid off, it's paid off. It's all profit. So I hope that explains some things to you. Um, I'm interested in, in ideas that you have, uh, maybe what you have done to, you know, cut yourself off or not cut off, but, uh, you know, save yourself some money from your utility company other than just not using, because sometimes that's not an option. Um, you know, send me a message, send me a like, send me a comment, make sure you share the video. Um, any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks guys. Have a great day.